So our topic for today would be chapter, uh, poem 1.1, which is A Time to Believe. Warming up session, what we'll do, uh, we'll do in later. Okay, once we are done with the poem, then we will start the warming up session. So directly coming towards the poem. Okay? Okay. Okay. A time to believe. To believe is to know. To believe is to know. But you can do this. Mute it. I'll tell you to unmute yourself. At that time, you can do it. Yeah. A time to believe. To believe is to know that every day is a new beginning. Is to trust that miracle happens. Miracles happen. And dreams really do come true. To believe is to see angels dancing among the clouds. To know the wonder of a star in the sky. And the wisdom of a man in the moon. To believe is to know the value of a nurturing heart, the innocence of a child's eye, and the beauty of an aging hand. For it is through their teachings we learn to love. To believe is to find the strength and courage that lies within us when it is time to pick up the pieces and begin again to believe is to know we are never alone that life is a gift and this is our time to cherish it to believe is to know that wonderful surprises are just waiting to happen and all our hopes and dreams are within our reach if one we believe okay so but while we were going through it aapko kuch idea aaya what is the poem about To believe in something. Yeah, Okay, so we'll start with the first stanza. To believe is to know that every day is a new beginning. Okay, that when we say to believe is to know that every day is a new beginning. मतलब क्या? What is the poet over here trying to say? That we he wants us to believe that everything will be all right because there is a new day every day to begin whatever you are doing. Right? कि हर एक suppose today I am not able to achieve something which I want to achieve. या कोई goals है मेरे जो ना achieve नहीं कर पा रही हूँ तो you can work for a next day because every day is a new beginning. Right? कि आज नहीं True. And what is the poet further trying to explain us? And he's trying to tell us that C is to trust that miracle happens and dreams really do come true. That if you trust yourself and if you have that hope that no, my dreams will come true. I'll work for it. Then you can definitely achieve it. Okay. So over here is that the poet is trying to say us that only that you should trust the miracles because you never know from anywhere you can get help if you're trying to work constantly on that purpose to achieve it. Just give, but up you know you're trying to work and if you're working on it regularly with a positive hope, you never know. कि आपको कहीं से वो चीज से related help मिल जाए and you know you can do that work more smoothly. So what over here poem uh, poet is trying to say us that you should never. Lose hope in any situation because you never know, right? That help could arrive from anywhere, and you might have not even imagined. So just keep working, just stay focused. And over here, what he's trying to say that you should never let your dreams die because your dreams will come true if you work for it. Clear first stanza, butcha? Yes. Okay. Second, to believe is to see angels 
dancing among the clouds to know the wonder of a star the sky and the wisdom of a moon in the moon so what is over here poet is trying to say that if you believe in angels that agar aap angels ya you know wo sari cheezo ko mante ho then you can probably see them dancing in the clouds because angels kaha pe rehte we say na they stay in the clouds they stay in the sky so if you believe in angels you trust them aap unme usme believe karte ho to you will see them dancing among the clouds so what over here poet is trying to say that in other words what poet is trying to say over here is if you believe you can see whatever is happening right that belief can help you see clearly whatever you believe in because aap angels mein believe karte ho isliye aapko lagta hai ki wo clouds mein dance kar rahe hai why because you are believing in it so if you are believing in something then you can clearly see you know aap jisme believe karte ho like in other words what it happens is belief can help you see clearly whatever you believe in similarly to know the wonder of a star the sky and the wisdom of the man in the moon to agar koi uh, you know people they believe in falling stars or horoscope some horoscope padhte hai subah subah ki aaj mere rashi mein kya hai something like that so if people believe in horoscope or if they believe in falling stars then they observe them in the sky agar mujhe falling stars mein main believe karti hu to acha lagta hai toota hua tara dikhne ko main hamesha sky ki taraf dekhungi why because i want to see it so again over here it is the same thing that if you believe in the man of the moon ki agar man of the moon mein aap believe karte ho then you can probably see him too बेसिकली मतलब बोलने का मीनिंग क्या है यहाँ पे कि अगर आप किसी चीज में बिलीव करते हो तो आप उसको जरूर देखोगे इन द सिमिलर वे द पोएट आल्सो वांट अस टू नो दैट इफ यू बिलीव इन समथिंग देन यू कैन Clearly see it. So, ये पूरे पैराग्राफ में यही है दैट इफ यू बिलीव इन एंजल्स देन यू कैन सी देम डांसिंग अमॉन्ग द क्लाउड्स एंड इफ यू बिलीव इन द मैन ऑफ द मून देन यू कैन सी देम ऑल्सो इन द स्काई सो इफ यू कीप बिलीविंग इन अ पर्टिकुलर थिंग देन यू कैन सी दैट दैट थिंग इज गोइंग टू हैपन बिकॉज यू हैव अ बिलीव इन दैट थिंग समझा बच्चा एनी डाउट I just use this word stardust. Uh, stardust over here means having a magical quality. देखो यहाँ पे meaning लिखा है. Stardust means having a magical quality. कि किसी चीज में कोई magical quality जैसे sky होता है when it is full of uh, stars. So you feel it magical, right? So that is mean that that is that means stardust. That having a magical quality. Okay. to believe is to know the value of a nurturing heart the innocent of a child's eye mm-hmm. and the beauty of an aging hand for it is through the teachings we learn to love now if you you can believe in the goodness of a human nature see yahan pe kya hai to believe is to know the value of a nurturing heart that if you believe in something if you believe in the goodness of human nature then that person can actually have a good heart right yeah yeah so if you believe to believe is to know the value of a nurturing heart the innocence of a child of a child child so if you believe in a person if you know a nurturing heart is someone who provides you care protection nourishment so if you believe in a person who trust you in this process who have faith in you then you know the value of that nurturing heart now in such situations when you are losing am i audible Yeah. yeah yeah in such situations when you are losing or you are going through a bad phase so you will see that there are people who support you in such situations who are they it can be your parents it can be your grandparents it can yeah. be your friends it can be your friends right who trust you in this process ke nahi dost to aa jayega baad sirf khud pe vishwas you know something like that so in such process 
you know the value of a nurturing heart that a heart which is providing you care which is providing you nourishment which is giving you protection so you value that person the innocence of a child's eye now kya hota hai innocence of a child eye you know हम बोलते हैं ना कि कितने बच्चे एकदम मासूम होते हैं बिकॉज दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग दे जस्ट हैव इनोसेंस इन देयर आई सो ओवर हियर आल्सो द पोएट इज ट्राइंग टू टेल अस सेम थिंग दैट अ चाइल्ड्स आई शो द ग्लिमर ऑफ इनोसेंस एंड होप कि उनमें आप देखोगे तो यू विल ऑलवेज फाइंड द इनोसेंस बिकॉज दे डोंट नो एनीथिंग राइट एंड यू विल ऑलवेज फाइंड अ होप इन देम दैट इज व्हाट ही इज ट्राइंग टू से पोएट एंड इट्स अ या and the beauty of an aging hand for it is through the teachings we learn to love over here aging means an old person so it can be your grandparents over here so aging is a growing old or old person so even you value that okay yeah so even you value, value them at that phase why because and the beauty of an aging and for it is through the teachings we learn to love because jo old person hote hain hamare grandparents they have a lot of experiences right because they have spent their life they have a lot of experiences and through their experiences they provide us that no ma'am ha and because of old person because of their experiences you learn a lot of things and then also they help us to they give us such values right so that we learn to love clear Yeah. Clear, sure. Yes. Ah, uh, are you saying something? I can. Yes. Yes. is this parrot of understood yeah i cannot hear you can you please write it maybe i guess there's a network issue from my side can you write it in the chat box okay अगेन Okay, so to believe is to find the strength and courage that lies within us. Means what you have to believe in yourself to find the strength and courage that lies within you. That as I said earlier, if you are going through a rough phase and you are not understanding how to deal with that situation, then just find the strength and courage. You are strong enough. You have courage within you, but that phase of you makes you weak. So at that time, you need to find that strength and courage again in yourself. you need to restart yourself and start thinking again that where you are going wrong when it is time to pick up the pieces and begin again and when you think that you have failed you will have to motivate yourself to pick up the pieces and start again you just need to make sure that you are having a positive uh, attitude that you will come towards it you will solve it and that is what the poet is over here trying to say that when you think you have failed you will have 
have to motivate yourself to pick up the pieces and start again that he's trying to say that never give up but keep on fighting until you succeed clear this yeah. paragraph yes ma'am Yeah, you can tell or type in the message so that I understand. Okay. To believe is to know that we are never alone. That life is a gift and this is our time to cherish it. Okay. And if you see, to believe is to know that we are never alone. That if you look around, as I said earlier, when you're going through rough days mm -hmm. of your life, you will see many people who will support you in such situations. So if you look around, then you will understand that someone who loves yeah. you, as I said earlier, it can be your parents, it can be your grandparents. So you can see your loved ones who are supporting you and they will never leave you alone. So always remember to believe is to know that you are never alone. You have your loved ones, you have your parents nearby who trust you in that phase. Even if there is no one around you and see this is one example then even if you think that there is no one around you who can help you out then God is always with you. So remember this thing. Okay, and this part that life is a gift and this is our time to cherish it and we should always believe that this life is being gifted to us by God. It's not easy for a person to come into a human form, right? We go through a lot of cycles and then we achieve this human form. So this life is a very beautiful gift which is given to us by God, which is gifted to us by God and you shouldn't throw it away but you should be grateful to it and you should be grateful because you have got that life you have got a chance to live it and you need to cherish it. Samja Bacha? Okay. Last, to believe is to know that wonderful surprises are just waiting for you, waiting to happen and all our hopes and dreams are within our reach. But when will this happen? If only we believe. So what the poet is trying to say us in the last stanza, to believe is to know that wonderful surprises are just waiting to happen. That if you keep on working on your dreams, as we have seen from the starting, that if you do not lose hope, if you have positive approach towards that situation, if you have your loved ones around you who are supporting you, and then if you are keep, if, you know, if you are keeping, uh, if you keep working on your dreams, and you never give up, then you will know that you have, you will learn how to achieve. And wonderful surprises are just waiting to happen. And if you will keep working on someday or the other, then success will come to you in small, small surprises. And all your hard work, see, and all our hopes and dreams are within our reach, within our reaches, something which is possible to achieve. That if you keep working, there is nothing which you cannot achieve, but you just need hard work for it. So if you keep working and all your hopes are strong, then you will definitely definitely achieve it but when all of these things will happen only if you believe so over here the poet is trying to say us that only that all your hard work all your success would give you result and remember that all your dreams are achievable within reach means achievable when will it be achievable when you will keep working hard on it clear bacha pura poem Yes, ma'am, I understood. Okay, so I'll give a quick summary about the poem. The poem is A Time to Believe. The poet over here is B.J. Morbid Sir. Okay, poet ka naam hamesha yaad rakhna because aapko figures of speech nahi jo ye hota na writing jis me aapko likhna hota hai short me summary na us me wo kaam aata hai. So over here quickly do the summary of the poem. The poem is by B.J. Morbid Sir, which is A Time to Believe. A Time to Believe is a poem. The theme of the poem is hope. 
okay the poem over here is trying that trying to tell us that we should believe in ourselves we should have the hope within ourselves and the poet urges over here the poet urges the reader to not to lose hope right he says that everything happened for the best so the best attitude one should have what is that attitude bachcha what attitude one should have to believe polite na bachcha to believe in ourselves that one attitude everyone should have is to believe in themselves right the poet over here wants us to believe that everything would be better and everything will come to a perfect place also he offers the proof of hope in our beliefs right in the child i in the old person so whenever you stumble or whenever you fall down you should pick yourself and try again right whenever you fall down you should pick yourself and try again and then the poet is saying that if you once do it then you are going to surely achieve you are going to surely succeed in your life only when you keep going and you don't lose hope and you don't believe in your self clear bachcha okay so this is how we come towards the end of the poem a very short and sweet poem by bj morbid sir now we will come to the warming up session which i said that we will do later on okay think choose and fill up the labels with what a sunrise symbol symbolizes okay so we have seen in the poem right that the poet or oh, blue to the kega ne the poet over here is trying to say that if you can't do something in your life then start a new beginning because every day is a new beginning right so sunrise what does sunrise symbolizes over here so wo aapko isme fill karna hai so that jewelry symbolizes sunrise is there any connection between jewelry and sunrise no so this part won't come art do art have any connection with sunrise yeah maybe yeah it's there because again like you know you are creating something out of it so again you are working on it so again art would be something which you can write it over here theek hai to art yahan pe aa jayega next hope you can kindly uh, bacha if possible you can mute unmute and then say that it would be easy for me because i have to you know see in the chat box again and again yeah thank you yeah so hope is something which you can write then what will come birth birth aa jayega audible hello no bachcha aapka awaaz nahi aa raha i can see you are saying something hello? but your voice is not audible to me um okay. okay fine chalo aap chat box mein likh lo no issues So hope is something which would again come in sunrise. Then anger does anger symbolizes sunrise? Does anger symbolizes sunrise? No, ma'am. I will send out. Okay, no issues. Then you have new opportunities. So yeah, new oppos new opportunities can be represented as sunrise. Good manners can be inspir ah uh, you know can be written as sunrise. It symbolizes sunrise. Inspiration, new achievements. happiness misery you cannot write misery misery aata hai bachcha sunrise mein no right perfect then you can write bright moments new aims money would money come perfect no and then you have new surprises the new surprises again would come in sunrise clear first sub question 1 
Okay. Sub question two. Now, do you know what is acrostic? Miss, I know this. Yeah. So, acrostic is the word would be given to you. Like over here, it is given friend. And from the starting alphabets, you need to write qualities which you see in that word. It is not something that you can word like like friend. Hai. So, I would write. Um, forgive or something like that the word should be related to the main word like if i'm writing reliable so i know that i can you know i can rely i can depend on my friend inspiring yeah my friend can be inspiring so the word which i'm writing should mix you know should have the quality of the main words so that becomes acrostic so over here you need to write for belief and faith believe or faith so what you can write for faith? Fabulous. Take mm. care. What else? Faith. Astonishing. Okay. I intelligent, uh, tiring. No, but but this is not going with the word, right? Like when I talk about faith, I cannot write tiring. Samajro. Mm -hmm. Faith is that word should be suitable. Okay, be hilarious. So, faith is kisi pe vishwas karna. So, it is not hilarious, right? Understanding that is what I'm trying to say that you cannot add any word which you think. Ke bhai chalo, faith hai. Sorry. Faith likha hai. To mein kuch bhi word dal hai. Chai to mein horoscope likh lu. But horoscope does not match with the word main faith, right? Are you getting it? What am I trying to say? Yeah, so the word which you are writing, yeah, so the word which you are writing should, uh, you know, represent it over here. It might be written, see, and the for each line forms a word when it is read vertical. Fine, fine, fine. So, what you can write for faith, see, I'll give you an example. So, for faith, you can write fearless. Right, fearless, like then you can write F A Hogana. A say I can write A, you know, something like this. So, words or oh, faith words are related. I mean, A say I can write apple, but apple, you know, it is not uh, any connection with faith. The word does not have any connection with faith, something which it is connected. So, I, I can write important. Then from T, I can write truth. And from H, I can write humble. Take it to something like this, you can write. Clear, but Okay. Yeah, for H, I can write hope as well. So something like this. Yeah, hope suits perfect. So believe wala part would be something to aka homework rega. You need to think. You can write for belief. Be a certain of the already waha pe. Diya hai. So for E, you can write encouraging. L say you can write uh, loyal, innocent, elegant, uh, valuable, excellent. You know, something like that. Okay. Yeah. So the entire warming up session, ye jo pura humne discuss kiya, would be your homework. Sub question one, ye aapka homework ho jayega pura. Sub question two, acrostic ke ye do thing, aapke homework ho jayenge, which we have already discussed. Clear? Okay. Now we will come to ये वाले questions जो side में यहाँ पे लिखे हैं right uh, to the left hand side of your poem. So the first one is what should one know and trust every day? So what should one know and trust every day? 
what the poem is telling us that every day we should trust that every day is a new beginning right and miracles can happen miracles are possible and even dreams also come true right this is something which the poet wants us to tell that what should one know that one should know that every day is a new beginning and miracle miracles are possible and what the poet is trying to make us believe what he's trying to what we should trust every day we should trust that dreams also really do come true okay okay second question what are the two qualities uh yeah what are the two supernatural references in the second stanza to ye jo second stanza hai isme two natural references kaun kaun se diye hai star the sky perfect man in the moon yeah star the sky nahi aa jayega bachcha ye एक एंजल सो एंजल्स ये वाले फर्स्ट टू लाइंस में एंजल्स आ जाएगा एंड लास्ट टू लाइन में आ जाएगा मैन इन द मून सो दीज टू आर द यू नो नेचुरल रेफरेंसेस व्हिच आर गिवन द ओके नेक्स्ट व्हाट टू क्वालिटीज आर नीडेड टू रिकवर आफ्टर अ शॉकिंग इवेंट सो इफ समथिंग यू नो शॉक्स then how you can recover what are the two qualities which are given in the poem see yaha pe to believe is to find strength and courage that lies within us so if any quality if any incidents which shocks us arise which two qualities we should have so one is strength which is given Hello. over here and another one is uh. courage theek hai hello ma'am can you hear me okay bachcha clear uh. एवरीवन शुड हैव सेशन वुड गेट ओवर इन वन मिनट हाँ बच्चा वो फोर्टी मिनट्स का होता है ना तो वापस ज्वाइन करना ठीक है वो फोर्टी मिनट्स का जो वर्क होता है जूम का तो सेशन अभी फटाक से खत्म हो जाएगा तो वही लिंक से आप वापस ज्वाइन करना ठीक है Yeah. So, what kind of attitude does the poet advises? The poet advises to have a attitude of hope, courage, and always believing in ourselves. Clear? So, कौन कौन से qualities आ जाएंगे? Hope, courage, and to believe in ourselves. Understood? Okay. 